Hello, my name is Brandon Howell, Product Marketing Manager for Intersil's Digital Power Products. Today, I'm excited to be introducing a new family of digital power products from Intersil, our hybrid digital controllers. In this family, we have two versions, the iCell 68200 and the iCell 68201. Before diving into those, I'd like to go through the difference between an analog controller, a hybrid digital controller, and a full digital controller. An analog controller uses an analog control loop, typically voltage mode or current mode. A hybrid digital controller uses Intersil's proprietary R4 control loop. A full digital controller, on the other hand, would use a full digital loop, such as a charge mode control. Hybrid digital controllers offer a PM bus interface with less than 25 commands, while a full digital control loop would have a more full-featured PM bus command uh, interface with 100 plus commands. Analog controllers offer no PM bus interface. Supply telemetry, including V-in, V-out, I-out temperature, is included with these hybrid digital controllers, while a full digital controller would have additional telemetry, such as duty cycle, switching frequency, and black box capability. Hybrid digital controllers are fully configurable with external resistors, so there's no need for any non-volatile memory, and they have a very similar design flow to a typical analog controller. Full digital controllers, on the other hand, typically require non-volatile memory and configuration files. In this family, we have two controllers, the iCell 68200 and the iCell 68201. The iCell 68200 has integrated drivers, allowing you to pair it with external MOSFETs. The iCell 68201 has a PWM output, allowing you to pair it with a Dr. MOS or similar power stage. Both controllers have a 4.5 volt to 24 volt input range, a 0.5 volt to 5.5 volt output range, a 300 kilohertz to 1.5 megahertz switching frequency range, and Intersil's proprietary compensation-free R4 modulator. R4 offers fast transient performance and built-in light load efficiency modes for improved efficiency at light load currents. The controller does not require any non-volatile memory and is fully configurable with external pinstrap resistors. The PM bus interface can be used for supply telemetry, including V-in, V-out, I out temperature, fault reporting, and on the fly V out margin of the output voltage. Both controllers come in a space savings 4x4 millimeter 28 lead QFN package. Looking at our hybrid digital controllers, there are three main features that differentiate them in the market. The first is ease of use. Because the R4 modulator is compensation free, there is no need for external compensation. This also means the end user does not have to worry about compensating their design. The modulator is inherently stable. It is also very fast, offering an incredibly fast transient performance and built-in light load efficiency modes. The PM bus interface is optional, but it offers flexibility, including on-the-fly configuration changes, supply telemetry, and V-out margin capability. One of the things that makes the ISL 68200 and 201 revolutionary is the R4 modulator used in these devices. R4 is based on a current mode, hysteretic control loop, and it offers inherent stability. The R4 control loop is inherently stable with optional digitally adjustable gain through the PM bus interface. The main benefits of the R4 control loop include exceptionally high control loop bandwidth, inherently stable architecture, the ability to adjust both switching frequency and duty cycle in response to low transient, and seamless PFM to PWM transition offering excellent light load efficiency when this mode is enabled. To showcase the performance of the R4 modulator, we benchmarked it against a constant on-time controller, a popular modulator on the market. On the left-hand side is the R4 control loop. Channel 1 is the output voltage, channel 2 is the load step, and channel 3 is the switch node. On the right-hand side is a similarly configured constant on-time controller from a competitor. Both had the same load step applied, had the same output capacitors and same output inductor, the only difference being the controller. The R4 control loop, because it can adjust both switching frequency and duty cycle, had one half the output deviation as the constant on time controller. All this due to the exceptionally fast transient performance that R4 offers. Target applications for the ISL 68200 and 68201 include wired infrastructure, wireless infrastructure, data center, including servers and storage, FPGA, and high and ASIC applications. The ISL 68200 and 68201 represent a new family of hybrid digital controllers for Intersil. They offer the flexibility of a digital PM bus interface with the simplicity of analog control. 
The R4 control loop offers industry-leading transient performance, reducing the number of output caps needed versus competing products. Full power navigator support makes this product extremely easy to use, and we'll explore that in some future videos. For more information on this product, please see the product information page at www.intersil.com.